Collinsville High School students take the battle against childhood cancer to the football field. Their inspiration comes from one of their teachers. Fox News' Jeff Bernthal is live from what is a history-making high school football game tonight. Jeff? That's right, Jasmine. There are uh, gold uh, ribbons here uh, created in the fence around the football field for the first ever golden game here at this high school. It's close to unthinkable for Collinsville fans not to wear purple on game day. You know, Fridays uh, we wear purple. It's even we've got a billboard right over here on the street. But uh, today it's all gold. The gold is a sign of support for childhood cancer awareness. And this boy's battle is the inspiration. Collinsville teacher Kim Lobb lost her grandson Elijah to cancer. We need to raise awareness and we need to let people know that you know, this is out there and we need help. We've got students right now battling cancer. Her heartache turned into action as students rallied around their teacher and formed a childhood cancer awareness club. Let's hear it for our childhood cancer parents and families. Very heartwarming to know that my grandson had touched people by telling his story. The club has raised thousands of dollars through various fundraisers, including t-shirt sales. 90% will go to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. The other 10% we want to give to a local child that's battling cancer to help them out a little bit. The students leading the effort hope this first annual Golden Game is only the beginning of an annual tradition for many, many years to come. I feel like this night is very special. It is our very first Golden Game. To me, it's a bit of history in the making. It's absolutely amazing. It brings so much joy to my life. This club means a lot to me. I'm like very proud of like my team and everybody who just was a part of everything. And I'm very proud of myself and very proud of everybody who was just helping me to everything ran smoothly. First uh, annual Golden Game here ending uh, just a few minutes ago. Collinsville wins. Uh, the club when it formed had a goal of raising $10,000. They had already raised 8000 heading into this game tonight. Reporting live from Collinsville, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.